So inside five minutes to the start of the 2014 Rolex Sydney Hobart. They're on board with the two heavyweights. This incredible stoush between these two, Wild Oats 11 and Comanche. Pretty heavy, pretty heavy, pretty heavy here. Down to four minutes to race start now. So at the moment. Peter, you can see the field moving back towards the start line to get into position. Yes, it looks as though um, Mark Richards on Wild Oats wants the western side of the harbour, which, he's, uh, which will give him a better angle of attack that going down the harbour. It's probably marginally shorter distance to the turning market uh, between the heads. You can just see there the tiny head salon Comanche, how different it is to the Wild Oats configuration. But they'll unfurl that front sail and they'll streak down the harbour. There's Ragamuffin. As I said earlier, she's already got a reef in her mainsail. You can see the mainsail down from the top of her mast. So she's quite a tender boat, meaning she'll lean over quite a lot in the strong wind. So she's already rigged to go outside the heads. Here we are aboard Wild Oats. Nathan Ellis trimming the main. There's Mark Richards. Ian Murray be in his pocket talking to him. Stand one attack, guys. Still way too early here. Way too early. Okay, I'm tacking. And big bear off, big bear off. Jabbing off. Big ease, big ease, ease, mate. Jib on. Two and a half minutes to race start. Ease it, ease it. Ease it, ease it. Oh, you can just feel the tension at the moment. We're closing in on two minutes to race start. The world is watching Sydney Harbour on this beautiful day. The harbour couldn't look any better than what it does. A huge spectator fleet out, of course. They will follow the 117 strong fleet as they make their way up through Sydney heads and take the first right turn at the first marker, a second right turn outside the head, and that is two minutes to go to race start. Well, here they go, they're engaging already. There's Comanche just getting to windward of Wild Oats. She's not going to let Wild Oats get away down this western side by herself, that's for sure. Now, will Comanche be early? That's the question to be asked. She's driving now into the exclusion zone. She can't get into those spectator craft there. That's Comanche on the right, Wild Oats winding up to the left, and the fire, starting gun to be fired by Neil Halverson, son of the legendary Hobart sailor Magnus Halverson. There's the starting boy just to the right of Comanche, that orange boy. They're a little early. Up they come to wipe off some time. Easy. Ready to go, mate, on. Okay, go, mate, on. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. 45 seconds to start. 43, 42, 41, 40. Hang on, guys. It's good here. This is all good. Ready for it to deploy. Two and a half legs. Yeah. That's 30 seconds to race start. Here comes Ragamuffin in as well. Perpetual Loyal, they're all there. All the big fellas are there. Right down on this western side of the harbour off Clifton Gardens. 15 seconds. An incredible fleet, 117. 10 seconds. the starting gun. They are away and racing in the 70th edition of the Rolex Sydney Hobart. 117 yachts begin the battle to win one of the world's most famous ocean races. And look at that. The four maxis there. Comanche got the, the jump. She is smoking down the harbour. She just got to leeward of Wild Oats. They unfurled. 
the reaching sails and when you heard Mark Richards saying deploy that means unfurl the front sail to give the maximum power ragamuffin most right as we look then perpetual loyal then Comanche and then wild oats but look at them smoking down the harbour now in this 15 to 18 knot south easterly breeze exactly what we wanted to see a fast run and Comanche's got the lead at the moment and a duel between Wild Oats 11 and Ragamuffin back from there. And there's Perpetual Loyal sitting in fourth spot at the moment. Nice breeze on here. Where's the boy? Ease it, mate. Ease it, mate. Come on, ease it. Ease it, ease it, ease it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ease it, guys. Ease it. On. It's going to be good for us up here. They're not going to be able to carry it. Let's just go fast here. Ease. Ease the lane. Good work, guys. Get the board up. Board up. Board up. Come on. Top right of your screen, you're on board with Wild Oats. Bottom nice right, job, Comanche. Really good work. They are smoking. Look at that thing go. Woo. The boys well up here. Where's Sound Pigs? Bang on. Get some bang on. Let's go, Moth. Bang on, mate. Bang on. Well, the two super maxes are pulling away. Comanche and Wild Oats 11. What's the board say? You heard Mark Richards say there, look at the speed of Comanche. He is blown away by what he's seeing so far. Something's not right here, guys. Something's not right. We're going real slow. Real slow here. Look at that thing go. Please. Hey, you did it. Look at Comanche, she is smoking. They have put that pedal down, and uh, this is probably a very good wind angle for her. Without stating the obvious, you can see what she's done to Wild Oats in such a short period of time. Ragamuffin hanging in, Perpetual Loyal hanging in, but it's all Comanche at the moment. They must be very pleased with this little short period of the race, but a long way to go. They've got to get through tonight. But there is something in it, Peter, is that you want to be first out of the heads. You, you want that pride and you want to pin that medal on your chest that, that you flexed a bit of muscle early on. Yes, I think that's right. And uh, she's certainly going to be first out. I guess this is an incredible show of strength by Comanche in these conditions. And you heard Mark Richards say, I just don't know what's happening here. We feel like we're going slow, but they are making good pace. It's just that Comanche is so fast in these conditions. He kept saying, look at it go. I, it's very surprising for Rico. He's normally more pumped and that worried about his own boat. But I think he's been pretty impressed, as we all have been, at the speed of Comanche. And remember, in Comanche 2, you're watching the world's newest Supermax. I mean, this thing is carbon fibre from top to toe. It is as light as you would get. There is no extra weight on board, but it is fast. It certainly is. It'll be very interesting to see, once they get round the turning mark, turning mark Victor in the heads, of how she performs upwind. But she's just trying to... Roll the front sail up. They're furling that front sail up. And once they get it furled, they'll take it down below. It's a big...